yeah, it told me that new content had already been downloaded and it will show up next time I restart the game. I'm not sure why it's not showing up now, but next time we're in camp, or if I decide I'm going to do that right now. Ah, it's good to see you, my timely rescuer. Bodon Fedic, at your service, once again. I saw your camp and thought to myself, what safer place to rest for the evening than in the camp of a Grey Warden? I'm perfectly willing to offer you a fine discount for the inconvenience of our presence. How does that sound? Good? Yes? Oh, you're free to stay. Just mind yourselves. Uh, let's see your wares. Have you been following us? What are you selling exactly? Let me see your wares. I'm sure you'll be pleased with the goods my boy and I have collected. And with your discount. So... Another backpack, and you can see, considerably more expensive than the first two that we purchased. Which were, what, 57 silver? So, aren't you glad you bought both of them? And, of course, runes. And some... Oh, finally some belts. But we'll wait until we find some in the field. And I don't see any Mubari... Uh, Mabari? The dog? Mabari. I don't see any Mubari. Mubar Where did I? Oh, um, Deep Space. N no, not Deep Space Nine. Um, the other one. Uh, I can't remember. Everybody remembers but me. Yeah, don't bother leaving a comment. By the time you see this, I'll ha I'll have looked it up on the internet. Okay. So I think I will see if there's anything obvious I need to sell. No. I Hold on to this stuff. A couple of us are missing helms. I might switch to splint mail. Some of this stuff looks pretty nice. Uh, I'm going to keep all this for now. Maybe give out some gifts. I generally look up on the internet who wants what gift. I suppose if you thought about it long enough you could you could guess or work it out. Okay, what's Sandal on about? Hello. Hello. The boy's a bit simple, but he's oh, rather right. good he's with enchantments. Enchanter. One of those tranquil fellas actually called him a... What was it now? A savant. I had no idea such a thing existed. Well, what, enchantment, what enchantments does he do? He can fold lyrium into almost any weapon or piece of armour, though naturally some of the more extravagant materials will take more lyrium than others. It's a process that some of the master smiths back in Orzammar will perform. But my boy here is just as adept at it. Isn't that right, boy? Enchantment! And there you have it. I want to have some enchanting done, and actually enchantment. I Enchantment! Because I don't have... Oh, I do have a weapon that can take an enchantment. Oathkeeper. And did I get this? And what the heck? Can you take enchantments out? And it looks like there's no uh, no charge. All right. I think it might be worth giving that to Alistair. This is what I'm looking for. And where is Oathkeeper? Eight critical chance higher, armor penetration better, strength modifier. Yep. Take that. Take that. Now, who else uses swords? Nobody really. Although, she occasionally does. Uh, so we'll give her the family sword. I wonder if I should give her a shield. Yeah, may as well. Why not? There we go. Sorry, I'm going to post this. I, I don't know how much you people want to see this kind of stuff. 
with me poking around in inventory. Um, I'm recording it anyway, and I'll leave this one in so that you can decide. If the vote is that people would rather not see this kind of stuff drag on, uh, I'll just cut it out so it's not bothering you. So leave comments if you care one way or the other. Morgan. What do you wish of me? I'd like to ask you something. If you must. Oh, I must, I must. How did you become a shape changer? Oh, I forgot about this. You can actually, if you have the right skills, learn skills from your cohorts. I was not born such. Tis a skill of Flemeth's, taught over many years in the wilds. The chastened have tales of we witches, saying that we assume the forms of creatures to watch them from hiding. When a child is alone and separate from his tribe, that is when we strike, dragging the young boy kicking and screaming to our lair to be devoured. A most amusing legend. Your mother has been doing this for a long time then? Changing her form, certainly. Devouring lost children, I cannot say. She has not done it in my experience, though in truth my lifespan is but a fraction of her own. Why do you ask? Is there something specific you wish to know? Can anyone become a shape changer? Anyone with sufficient will. But the act of transformation is a magical one. It is a spell and thus requires a mage's talents. If you had a notion to learn such a skill for yourself, sadly, you must remain disappointed. Can you change into other human forms as well? The form of an animal is different from my own. One may study the creature, learn to move as it does, think as it does. In time, this allows one to become as it is. I gain nothing by studying another human. I already am the same as they are. I learn nothing. So the answer is no, my human form is the only one I possess. Well, the one you have is quite exceptional, I must say. Do you spend a lot of time as an animal? Hmm. There were nights when the wilds called to me, tis true. You look upon the world around you and you think you know it well. I have smelled it as a wolf, listened as a cat, prowled shadows that you never dreamed existed. But my life is as a human, I am under no illusions to the contrary. What do other animals think of you when you're changed? They do not shy away from me. To their senses, I believe I seem like any other of their species. As to what they think, I truly cannot say. Just as I am still human, no matter my form, they are still animals. Thus they cannot speak, even were I to ask. I've never heard of magic like that before. No? Tis not unheard of in the remote corners of the world. There are traditions of magic outside of the circle of magi, despite what those mages would have you believe. Some of these traditions are old, indeed, passed down as carefully guarded law from one generation to the next. The zealots of the Chantry would uproot all such practitioners if they could, but as luck have it, some still exist. My mother is such a one. By practitioners, you mean apostates, don't you? Uh, yes, I like this one. I, I agree. I don't like the whole chantry idea. Th that's good. Such traditions need to be preserved. I am surprised you think so. Still, it is a pleasant thing to hear. That's all I wanted to ask. Indeed. Have you an opinion on my abilities, then? Am I an unnatural abomination to be put to the torch? Spanked, maybe. Torch, never. I think your abilities sound quite useful. It does seem a little revolting. That would just make you angry, I think. At the very least. Um, I think your abilities sound quite useful. A most practical opinion. Far more so than any man I have spoken to. But enough of such talk, let us proceed lest the dust gather on us. Right. So surprisingly we've got Morgan's approval. Uh, I don't think we're going to keep it. She is kind of dark side if you go with the old Star Wars lore. Uh, 
and we do come across conversations where I simply can't pander to her. Uh, Sten, uh, I don't particularly enjoy talking with Sten. Why are we stopping? I think we should talk for a moment. There are dark spawn to be fought. Is this delay needful? Mm-hmm. I need to know if I can trust you at my back. I am Kunari. I have given my word to aid you. We are not people of idle promises. I've never seen a Kunari before. Tell me about your people. No. Uh, but what? Why not? People are not simple. They cannot be summarized for easy reference in the manner of the elves are a lithe, pointy-eared people who excel at poverty. Oh, this is... this is true. Uh, you said you were in the army? I am. What made you decide to become a soldier? Decide? I am a Sten of the Beresad. I did not choose to be who I am any more than you did. Uh, let's see, never mind. Are you alright? You were in that cage for weeks. You are concerned. No need. I am fit enough to fight. We should get moving. As you wish. I think if you chat with him long enough and frequently enough, he actually, uh, you progress with that conversation. And you can see his new lightning sword, hard at work. What do you need? Do you want to talk about Duncan? You don't have to do that. I know you didn't know him as long as I did. I just thought you might need to talk. That doesn't mean I don't mourn his loss. I... I should have handled it better. Duncan warned me right from the beginning that this could happen. Any of us could die in battle. I shouldn't have lost it, not when so much is riding on us, not with the blight and... and everything. I'm sorry. I'm just going to... well, let's... Um, let's see if it will let me... no, I can't escape. I, I just want to get into the uh, menu and adjust the music up a little bit. We'll just finish this conversation first, I suppose. There's no need to apologize. I'd like to have a proper funeral for him. Maybe once this is all done, if we're still alive. I don't think he had any family to speak of. Oh, that's going to be difficult. I kicked him into the river. Um, that's an excellent idea. I think he came from High Ever, or so he said. Maybe I'll go up there sometime. See about putting up something in his honor. I don't know. Have you had someone close to you die? Not that I mean to pry, I'm just... My entire family was murdered just recently. Oh, oh, of course. How stupid of me to forget. Here I am going on and on about Duncan, and you... I am so sorry. Thank you. Really, I mean it. It was good to talk about it, at least a little. Maybe I'll go to High Ever with you when you go. I'd like that. So would he, I think. Okay, so this is what I wanted to do. I really like the music in here. Unfortunately, the way the music... I think I mentioned this. The way the audio works is this increases the music everywhere. I really like it in the background. But that means it's going to be much louder in battle as well. So I may have to bring it back down again. But there, you can hear it slightly louder now in the background. You can talk to the dog as well. I'm leaving uh, Liliana as, as last. Oh, why you little... What? What? Your furry friend here took offense at me getting near his food. He snapped at me. Look. There's hardly any blood drawn still. He shouldn't have. It's just a warning. He could have taken your hand off. Well, he is a war dog. 
Yeah, I think we'll go with that one. Sometimes I forget that he's a war dog. That'll teach me. I once heard a really old legend about how the hound warriors in the days of the old tribes would feed their Mabari the flesh of the vanquished. Well, that's what I heard anyway. It would sometimes be human flesh. Oh, like you can tell the difference. For all you know, maybe you've already been fed something. Someone. Oh, if you had and you didn't know it, it was probably tasty. Uh, don't listen to Alistair, he's full of rubbish. Hey! <laughs> Alright, so yeah, that'll go on. I'll leave a couple of those for every time we're in camp. That's... You can actually talk to the dog and get him to fetch you things as well. It's quite neat. Yes? I'd 